it's literally just giving them the opportunity to utilize everything after the session. So, so if it's smoking cessation, okay, instead of them thinking, oh, I'm frustrated and I'm angry and I'm having cravings, this didn't work. It's like, well, no, that's my body just healing. Right. My body's just fixing this problem. And it's almost like a way to catch everything afterward. I don't think it's a trick, though. That's really what happens, right? The it is, it is, because you're, you're yeah. releasing the chemicals, and that's what's making you want to smoke again, because right. the chemicals are coming out of your body, so it's craving. That's right. That means to me, yeah. And it, it, it doesn't mean they always have cravings. A lot of people have reported to me, I don't know what, what, you, what I did. They will say that, I'm like, was it me? You know, but I know what they mean. Uh, but I just don't care. Like you can quit smoking with cravings. I don't want to hear that, right? Like the point is like, I want to give them the, the highest rate of success, the highest chance to succeed is not kid gloves and safety and the world's going to be sunshine and rainbows. It's no, you have everything you need to handle disaster and much more than what you think you can eat. You don't even know how powerful you are and what you can endure. But you're not going to find out if I'm pretending, you know, so that's why I try to, uh, I try to pull that rug out from under them. And it's like, here we go. You got this. But you're, you're learning how to cope with reality without this thing that you've been using forever. It's okay if you have a bad day, right? Like, I think that's perfectly reasonable. So it's more thinking about it that way.